Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. This is this band that lately I've just become so involved with and I've only watched a few of their performances but of all the people who do covers I don't want to say they're the best because there's a couple guys I really enjoy. I've been jumping into Dan Vask lately. He does metal stuff. It's really, really good. I'm a big Tommy Hansen fan. I think the guy's very funny. But these guys have this whole niche. You know, acapella is such a scary art to me. It is, you know, because you hear everything. You can hear them all screw up. And these guys take it to a level of just, like, genius. Uh, I love it. <laughs> I'm all about it. I was actually playing um, a track in bed last night. I was so into it. I just wanted to hear it before I went to sleep. It was one I already reacted to, by the way. I like listening for the first time with you guys on here. It kind of makes it fun. To, for me at least it's a good excuse to listen to new music always anyway this is a track i think we all know <laughs> it's elvis singing man it's can't help falling in love i'm eager to hear what these guys do with it i know it's going to be good but let's listen together and let's be the judge wise men say only fools run but I can't help falling in love with you. Shall, Shall I, I stay? stay? Would it be? If I can't help falling in love with you, if I can't help falling in love with you, like a river flows surely to the sea darling so in go some things are meant to be take my
right, so where do we start? Uh, I'll start with any negatives, all right? We'll get those out of the way. We'll just push them out. I found the video, there was a lantern hanging in the front right here. Found that a little bit distracting. <laughs> Kept looking at this lantern. Thought it was a boom mic the very first time I heard it, or saw it rather, but it wasn't, whatever. I know this isn't a film class, but hey. And then uh, I love the boom box guy, the guy standing on the very far left. And there was none of that in this track. Now it's okay, I can hear that in a lot of other tracks, but I just wanted to mention that I totally, totally dig that dude doing all of that human beatbox stuff. I really, really like it. They obviously didn't hear it in their heads in this track. It wasn't necessary or it wasn't a part of the song they needed to explore. Cool stuff. All right, what's really cool? How long must they practice together when you do that many different layers and they're all swimming together to be part of one? There has to be a lot of practice sessions of like, okay, your turn, you come and you change. And it's got to get very confusing. To me, it's almost like Brian Wilson putting together pet sounds. How did your brain work like that where you could layer so much stuff and hear it all? It's genius. Super cool. Super, super cool. And then, of course, you know, maybe it's a little lame or whatever, but what would Elvis have said if he had got to hear this? I think he would have loved it, you know, and so I say it's lame because it's such an easy go-to of what would somebody have thought who popularized or made a track or, you know, Elvis in this case, oh my God, the king, the king, but uh, I think he would have really liked it. It's such a good song, and when you hear songs like this that you've heard so many times, but you hear different versions of them, it gives you that awesome opportunity to, again, re-listen to a track that you just sing in your head because you've heard it so much and actually focus on what a really well-composed, awesome track it is. So that was my thoughts on this. Voice play, you guys rock. That was so good. <laughs> Thank you so much. If I could beatbox, I would beatbox my way out of this reaction just to fill it in there for you guys, but I can't do it. Not as good as that guy, so. Brum, brum, brum. <laughs> Guys, thank you. I appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Hey, the podcast is over. What are you still doing here? Well, while you're here, like and subscribe. Thanks.